everybody to this week's episode of Everybody Eats. My name is Briss. I'm Cheese. And this week we went to Pat and Gracie's. Uh, Pat and Gracie's is a restaurant located in the downtown area. Um, it's actually a pretty decent sized restaurant. Uh, yeah. yeah, but the parking for the restaurant itself. It's not decent size. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Yeah, it can probably fit about six cars, give or take one or two. Unless. Maybe there's parking in the back. Maybe, I don't know. It was our first time over there, yeah. so. But from what we saw, it didn't appear to be so. It was like six spaces. Three of them was taken up by one F-350. <laughs> and, <laughs> and two meters. Like. Right. Um, luckily, we were able to have a meter right in front of the restaurant, so we didn't have a far walk at all or anything. When you first walk into the restaurant, um, you'll notice it has like a, what I call it upscale? I won't call it semi upscale. It looks nice. Yeah, like I don't really know how to even explain that really. It was, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, also, I was like blindly hungry when I walked in there. I was like, oh man, no attention to me. Oh, he's like, I'm like, y'all need a seat and a menu. Right. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> Nothing else. Now. Right. Yeah, so we sat down at our table and started off with our cocktails. I had the Gay Street Old Fashioned, uh, which is basically um, Old Forester Bourbon, Simple Syrup, Luxardo Cherry Juice, Orange Bitters, and Luxardo Cherry. Um, I typically don't like Old Fashions, but you know I, I like to just try like you know different restaurants takes takes on things. So I was like, okay, fuck it, why not? Did you like it? I actually did. Yeah. Um, it wasn't uh, great or amazing by any means, but it was something that I could drink. And I'm like, okay, this isn't too bad. Um, and it was also pretty strong, um, which is another reason why I got it, because old fashions are typically on the stronger side of things. It's essentially just a shot with some bitters, really. But yeah. A little bit of sugar. Right. So, it's, yeah, mostly alcohol, usually. Um, but not much to it. But yeah, I, I liked it, honestly. And it, it was one of the, the better old fashions that I've had uh, in my experiences. I had the Kentucky Orange Blossom. It was a Old Forester bourbon again. Uh, orange liqueur and then just like straight up orange juice. It was alright. Um, it was a little too sweet for me personally, but yeah, it was good. It was still solid. Orange and bourbon goes well with it. goes really well together. So yeah, yeah that was cool. Okay. What's up? Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Um, same as yours. It was alright. Yeah. Drinks were alright. They were alright. Alright. So that those were our cocktails. Um, in regards to our food, we actually went during restaurant week. Um, so they pretty much lay out a, a what, three course meal for you. Yep. Um, yeah, and just have it at like a lower price than what they normally would charge you. Yep. Um, so for in our instance, our both of our meals were not meals. Uh, what is, what's to be a meal of courses? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. In our instance, both of our meals were twenty dollars each. Um, they came with appetizer, really? entree. Only twenty dollars, huh? Only twenty dollars. I don't even really remember how much it was. Yeah. Cheap. Yeah, it was pretty cheap. Uh, so it won't typically be that cheap when if you do decide to go, because um, it was only just a you know promotional period price. Um, but still, it was yeah, it was definitely a, a value. Big bargain. Big bargain for sure. So so with that, um, my appetizer I had the house made soup of the day, which was actually loaded potato soup. Um, I mean it was really just soup. Um, like. What? Alright, I don't I don't remember what was in it. Uh, piece of shit. Um and on the menu itself all it does is say how many soup of the day, so it doesn't even give the details for it. But it's a load of potato soup. Um you can see what it looks like in the picture. <laughs> it was good. Potato and cheese and cream, butter, you know. Yeah, all that shit. Potato thing. It's probably some uh, chives or maybe scallions or other green things you were speaking of. Yeah. Not exactly broccoli, but. Uh, yeah, that sounds more accurate, actually. There you go. Yeah. That's a loaded potato. All that shit he just said, that was <laughs> definitely in there for sure, without a doubt. There you go. So, yeah, it tasted really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I honestly had no complaints about it whatsoever. It was, um, yeah, it was creamy, it was full, um, the taste was there, you know, good consistency, like, just all around. But I would expect that of a good bird potato soup. My taste it was okay. Um, I, I feel like there was too much hype in the moment for me. Mm. 
up. It's like, it's so good. I'm like, that is lit. And I'm driving. I'm like, it's all right. You feel me? Like, uh, it's okay. Ain't too far from this. Oh shit! Like, no, it's not even a, ain't no offense or nothing. There ain't no knock. Like in the can? Maybe Campbell's suit be gone. Okay, Campbell's suit be gone. Okay. Okay. I mean, hey. Do you feel like it was leaps and bounds above that? I mean, <laughs> it wasn't like the best suit I've ever had in my life, but I say it's at least a. A couple leagues above Campbell's chicken with soup. Like, that's just me though. I don't know, man. I only had like one bite, so. Okay, that's true. Maybe if I had a whole bowl, I would feel the different. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, sorry. Alright. That's all I gotta say about it. Alright. For an app, my appetizer, I had Buckeye pretzel bites. Um, they look just like Buckeyes. They did look just like Buckeyes, but they were pretzels. Um, Served with the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Surprisingly, like it was great. Like I wasn't expecting to be, it to be that good. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, <laughs> I heard it. Yeah, it's cool, you know. Fuck it, we go. We just push through. <laughs> right. um, I don't know. They were really good. I like. They would have been like. Like if I had like movie pretzels, those would be like top tier movie pretzels. Mm -hmm. Like if I had a basket of those at the movies or something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you think about like cheese sauce, yeah, it's probably definitely mixed with a couple of Infinity Wars. <laughs> Infinity Wars? Scarface and shit. Like Harry Potter series. Harry Potter series. Okay. Yeah, it was chilling. I feel like, no, they were definitely, they were, they, good. they were definitely one of the best breakfast I've ever had. Yeah, for sure. I can say that. Right. <laughs> so Easily cool. the best pretzel white I've ever had. Easily. Mm. That's good. Right, I know. That's what I'm <laughs> still, like, still, it was really good. So, yeah, an accomplishment for sure. So, for the second course, which is the entrees, I had the lobster mac and cheese. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You got lobster, you got cheese, you got pasta. That's about it. Um, I'm sure, there's a couple more ingredients in there, but they aren't really major. Um, it was good. So. They look drier in the pictures than they did in real life. In real life, I want to say they were the most moist. <laughs> the most what now? The most moist. Huh? Moistest. Oh. Uh, pasta I've had. Moist pasta. Yeah. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the most moist. But it wasn't as dry as it appeared to be in the picture. Somebody's gonna have a connection here. You say moist that many times. Oh, for sure. Yeah, they'll probably throw their laptop. <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced. Probably. Moist is underrated. So underrated. But I, I have like homegirls that can't stand that word. Moist. I like that word, moist. It should be used more. It's like the best cake is moist. Do you know what I mean? People hate that word. It's funny. But um. No, it, it it was good. Um, it actually like when it when it came out, I will say it looked dry, but then when I actually started eating it, I'm like, oh, okay, this is actually better than you know I was anticipating. Um, I love lobster, um, so the lobster pieces were good to me, and um, yeah, I just think it was a solid entree. I can really say I disliked anything about it. So yeah. that's cool. Uh, I didn't really care for it. Yeah. No, it just it just kind of like lacked in flavor to me. Like it was just. I can see that. Like it was kind of boring. Like you, you could genuinely have one bite of that and be like, okay, you know exactly what's there. Like, That's true. Like, That's true. Yeah. It, okay. Like it could have like used some like. I would agree with that. A lot of things. A fine second thought. Like some garlic, some peppers. Yeah. Just needed a little boost. Just it was a little bland. It, it was a little bland. It was a little bland. I'll say that. I was like, eh, I mean, you feel me? You like it? I love it. I ain't Cause I too was starving when we pulled up here. I don't know why I was so hungry. So we were, I mean, we were both like, we hadn't eaten like pretty much all, all day. So I have any reason to be that hungry. My already low standards were even low <laughs> than normal. So said, Ooh, this I'm like, look, we, right, we here. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's food, it's gone. Um, but yeah, it, upon a second, further review, okay, I'll agree. It definitely was a little bland for sure. Um, but. It was enjoyable. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It just was bland. Yeah. Bland. It's whatever. 
I had the Peruvian chicken, which was a olive oil marinated chicken, seasoned with like cumin, some other stuff. I don't know. What is it? Let me see. I'm using it pretty good at remembering this. I don't know. It's a lot of shit on it. It was a lot going on. <laughs> it was like literal half a chicken. So wing, breast, leg, thigh. Um, it was marinated in olive oil, lime juice, garlic, cumin, paprika. Oven roasted to tender with crispy skin. Uh, it was served with um, it was served with mashed potatoes and like some steamed broccoli, essentially. Uh, the chicken itself was great. Like the skin was cool. The uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it. Yeah, it wasn't really like crispy per se, but it was really good. Um, the seasoning on there was really was awesome. It was not bland. The complete opposite of bland. Um, the chicken was cooked like perfectly, it was nice and juicy. Mashed potatoes were alright, just like mashed red skin potatoes, nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. Same with the broccoli, it was just like. Is it here? Some, yeah, like it was just there. Okay. The chicken was definitely the star of the show there. Um, and it just showed up and showed out, it was good. Also, there was like a like spicy or cilantro sauce like, on the side. Kind of reminded me of like Jimmy Sherry almost. Kinda. Um, that also was fire. It was delicious. I definitely had the superior dish in my opinion. Oh yeah, I can agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> From the small piece of chicken that I did have, um, I was like, oh okay, yeah, this is pretty nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. I would go back for that. All right. I, yeah, I agree with that. So yeah, those are our entrees. After that, we had desserts. Which we normally don't even eat, but since it was a part of the... Not usually. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we never even... I don't know, man. I don't know. We might not have ever gotten a dessert before. Probably not. Until I'm now. i will be drunk. I don't know. Right. So, yeah. So typically, yeah, we never even do desserts. But in this case, it was already part of the package deal. So I got one of the only two options they have for dessert. The carrot cake. Um, I will say this was the low point for me on our restaurant experience um the cake was pretty dry like it was crumbly um if we're going back to the word moist which is the word of the day apparently it was not moist whatsoever uh it was pretty just like lacks moisture yeah it literally lacked moisture um i just and then i i didn't even finish it to be honest i took about Two, maybe three bites. I was trying to get into it. I'm like, I just, I don't like this at all. And I, it takes a lot for me to say I don't like something. So, I, that's fucked up. I'm sorry. But, I mean, no, it's, it's not your fault. right, I'm just like, <laughs> it was just not enjoyable. Um, and, um, I would say that, yeah, they were doing a really good job up until that point. And so it was kind of disappointing uh, to me for that. So, Dessert's usually the last thing that you have, so you know, that's oftentimes how you remember a place. Yeah, it does not leave a good lasting impression. It's fucked up. I had the chocolate cake, mm -hmm. also pretty dry. Um, I didn't care for it much, but like at the end of the day, like it, it was chocolate, so it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. Like it was cool, um, it was just a little dry. It was fun. Got some icing on there to kind of help with that a little chocolate sauce. Some whipped cream. It was alright. Um, I took a couple bites. I'm also not huge of desserts. I'm not either. Or sweets in general. So, it was alright. But I mean, it was good. It was, it was okay. It was okay. I, I don't feel nearly as bad about mine as you felt about yours. Oh, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I hated it. I, mean, I, I tasted <laughs> those in it. Like, it was dry, but like the flavors were good. Yeah. Like, flavors were there. Flavors were solid. Mm. Maybe I just couldn't get over that dryness. I don't know. Well, it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember last time I had this cake that dry, except when I made one, I was like two months old. Two months? Yeah. Why the fuck are you eating cake two months old? Yeah, when I was five, I had a Godzilla cake. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nigga, you need help. You need to beat your ass. Desserts were not great. Yeah. They were just kind of there. 
Yeah. Um, service wise, it was up to par, standard, nothing outrageously spectacular. Honestly, when I first got there, like I felt strangely rushed. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I can't even really. I can't really put my finger on it as to why or anything. Oh, I feel like she like gave us our menus, told her she'd give us a second or whatever, and then came back in like literally two minutes. Like that hey, might yo, be. What's it. up? You, you know what you need? I'm like yo. Like, <laughs> I just took my jacket off. <laughs> I didn't even think I had taken it off yet. Like, yeah. like oh, lady. Yeah. Chill. <laughs> I mean, I'm most busy. Maybe she just didn't realize. Right. Okay. Ah, I didn't think about that. You might be right now. I'm thinking about it. It, it felt like a lot. Mm -hmm. You ready? Like, remember, like, as we were ordering, like, it was like a race to the fucking finish. Motherfuckers were staring at their drink, at their uh, cocktail menu, like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'll take that. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Nah, that's for sure. Yeah, for so sure. I mean, that was cool, but besides that, it was fun. That was service. Um, price, like we said, ours is cheaper than normal. This will normally run you, I would say, about 30 to maybe 40-ish dollars. Um, yeah, yeah. So, it's moderate like, moderate pricing. Not um, crazy. Yeah, because they have two bunch or two of them. So, it is what it is. But yeah, um, overall, I think I would definitely give Pag and Gracie's a 2.75. Actually, no, scratch that. I give them a two and a half. Um, the dessert really did them in, huh? I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I, I thought about it, I'm like, shit, that wasn't some bad dessert. Like, had it not been for the dessert, I would've gone with 2.75. But that dessert knocked me down a quarter of a point. I just did not enjoy it whatsoever. Um, atmosphere was great, I really liked it. Um, it, was really, it was really lively, it was bright, looked nice and classy, but it was so casual enough to where you didn't feel like you had to come like a suit or you know, whatever. Um, but, and the drinks, uh, were okay, okay slash decent. They weren't like, you know, really outstanding or anything. Food, was good. I'll say food was good. Also, wasn't great, but it was better than decent to me. Um, but except for that dessert, that dessert was just terrible in my opinion. Um, and then, uh, yeah, service was standard. Price, was, the, the value was there. So yeah, I I give them a two and a half, which isn't a bad score. It's just it's uh, above average, I'd say. So. Okay, um, two point five. Uh, I'm probably in about the same ballpark, but I'm 2.5 for sure. Yeah. Um, again, like, I don't, my food was pretty solid uh, outside of the dessert, which was lacking. Um, cocktails were good, service was cool, a little rushed, but you know, that's alright, that happens. Nothing crazy. Uh, yeah, 2.5, it was alright, it was solid, it was decent. This might be the, this isn't the first time we've had the same score before. It has to be like maybe the second. Well, I think really what, the only reason that that is even the thing is because the dessert was so bad for you. <laughs> yeah. As well as like, I don't, like what's really bringing it up for me is that chicken. Mm. And then, yeah, yeah, more of yeah, yeah, what's bringing it down for you is the, the dessert. Yeah, yeah. And then also what kind of keeps it down. Me, like 2.5 is literally as high as I can go. Um, <laughs> That's the ceiling. It's because <laughs> of the lobster uh, mac and cheese. That's just bland as hell so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I so that's what I got. I was, I was still above average for sure. Yeah. Yeah, especially to they have a they have a very like expansive menu. Like, yeah, for sure. It's a whole lot of shit on there. This was just the restaurant menu. We had what three cho yeah three choices for an appetizer, three choices for an entree, and two choices for dessert. So you know, I would definitely go back just to kind of try for sure. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. Yeah, without a doubt. Treat the menu like a dartboard. Yeah. I'm sure that'd be good, you know, whatever, yeah, you pick. So, um, yeah, that'd be a good time. But yeah, um, maybe here? No, that's it for me, boy. All right. Well, guys, thank you for watching this week's episode. And we'll catch you next time. Peace. Where's my